denial, you know, of uh, access to, you know, medication by the DSS uh, operatives. Yeah. That is the highest mm. thing you can deny a man, mm. especially in detention. Yeah. Because his health is what matters. His health, health food uh. that goes into his mouth, mm. health and food. Mm. You shouldn't deny him before, because if he dies, uh. you should be what? You will be held responsible. Mm. So what I'm trying to say is that they should allow him access to medication. There's no need of incarcerating somebody for almost for eight months now. Someone sitting some at one place. And this person in question we are talking about is above, above 50. So he should be allowed access to medication. His doctor should go to him, attend to him, to make sure that they don't, you know, succeed on this, aliving him. Because what they are trying to do now is to make sure that Nan De Kano dies in detention. Not knowing that if any freedom fighter dies in detention, that freedom he's fighting is going to the grave with what? His flag. If Nan De Kano dies, that's it. flying of the African flag. And Nigerian nation will be in jeopardy. Nan De Kano's demise, as they are trying it, trying to disalive him, will jeopardize the corporate existence of the country called Nigeria. Because they have been always being hard, too hard on Igbo man, over marginalizing Igbo man, oppressing and uh, 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 exploiting Igbo man. And we're not doing anything. That's why they keep on doing and doing many, you know, inhumanity activities against man on Igbo man. See, what I'm trying to say is that the Jimako should work hard to make sure that he brought it to the world notice, especially United Nations and America, even the Nigerian government, he should go to the office of the executive and the lawmakers and relive his own story mm. of this medical, at least, denial mm. of Nande Kano. I don't know what I understand, yeah. understand by the, by the uh, DSS yes, yes. security operatives. So what I'm trying to say again, on the issue, someone that is incarcerated should be taken care of. That is his own legal rights. At least, even if you are an armed robber mm. or a murderer, and you have been down in, de in detention, it doesn't mean that food will not get to you. They should, be, they, should be, they should feed you. They should be giving you medication. But this man we are talking about is a first class yeah. son in Igbo land. Mm. First class son mm. in Igbo land. Yeah. They should not deny him medication. Yeah. Because if he dies, Nigeria dies too. Mm. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Then on the other side of Samonepa, mm. Samonepa issuing threats to federal government, to state government, it is a welcome situation. Mm. We like it. Mm. We the Igbos, we like it. Mm. Because failure to do that, now the car will just be annihilated like that mm. by Fulani government. Mm. I've been telling people every day can only that Tinubu government is Mohammed Buhari's government. Mm. The Fulani's they have sworn instead they will all they will all what die rather than setting in and they cannot free mm. the flanny they have sworn that they will die because mm. they know that the owner of the resources of nigerian nature from mm. where they are benefiting today all the parasite parasitic flanny mm. political juggernauts they would rather hang themselves than mm. allowing and the to go south mm. some of them have won even sworn that instead of biafra will come mm. they will all die and they are preparing to die one mm. by one they should then die. They should all climb hold this electric pole or up all the transformers mm. available. Because mm. time of emancipation or manifestation of Biafra mm. has come. The prince of Africa. A line to a candlelight on the mountain pinnacle, on the mountain peak, is Biafra. Mm. It is coming. And the rage will be bigger than anybody, than any nature that can pass truncating or thwarting this effort of emancipation of Biafra. We are not warning only, but we are threatening the Fulani nation. They are nothing. Biafra has come. Mm. Then as one and the canoes as uh, someone has issued mm. uh, 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 this kind of warning yeah, to th all the government, you know, from federal government to state level, yeah. I think is a good idea. Mm. They should shut it down. Come mm. 
29, 30th or 31st of first of mm. August, they will all than two until now the canal doctors get access to him. It is his own what right, his civil right should not be tampered with. Irrespective of the fact that they abandoned him after re releasing Igbo, their brother. They they just abandoned this man. Mm. Then they should give him medication. Failure to give him medication, he might die. And if he dies, Nigeria dies. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. But, well, but do you think that um, um, this this um, order that I, 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 I just um, um, this, this is command, do you think will, will make the federal government to finally you know grant access to the doctor they will. by the time they start losing money mm. by the time all the the federal uh, yeah. establishment in the east mm. start losing money mm. if they done too yeah federal government is worth losing money mm. so they must do that mm. must we always protest before they do the need for turning and the canoe it is his own right they must surely attend to him mm. he has his own fundamental right they shouldn't yeah. be fridging on him mm. all the time so denying him access to medication is equal as well as what violating him mm. is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a sort is a kind of abuse is a kind of violation of someone's right. He is there. He is government property. Mm. They should allow him medication. So Simon Obama's threat is a welcome idea. Mm. Government must obey him because by the time banks, mm. secretaries. The state secretaries, mm. other federal establishments or corporation yeah. or public institution in the southeastern Nigeria mm. than tools. You will find out that government, federal government of Nigeria is still benefiting money from southeastern Nigeria. Mm. And they won't like that to happen. They should actually attend to Nandika. Just all over the world. You are welcome in today's epoch and remarkable visit of our Prime Minister, Ambassador. Mazi Simon Epanjoko to Germany. Dear friends in Germany, wholeheartedly appreciate you and your cabinet in all your endeavors and efforts towards the liberation and restoration of Biafra. We say as in Dutch, herzlich willkommen. You are highly welcome, sir. We must start somewhere to tell your stories, as there's always stories around every great man. We know you carried yours and the fire of Biafra along with it. Uh, today, your story is like that lone ice bar that fell in a desert, and nobody knew from whence nor whither. As you came on board, we stood and watched while the yoke remained unraveled. Significantly, like Saul in the Bible, your story today started in Germany. When Onyendu asked that divine question to those who understood it, what, what is he going to do in Germany? He meant someone else. The response came, Iriji. We all remember who came to Germany for Iriji. And then retorted as the answer came, he is going to celebrate a young festival in Germany. Don't let it happen. That was a command to many who understood it. None knew he was passing a divine instruction that metamorphosed in you today. The rest is history. There and then began your story, 2018. It's remarkable to note that you and your spiritual father, our leader, Mazen Namdekano, have both sometimes in your lives fought assiduously for that incorrigible entity, Nigeria. 